Yo, what is going on guys? Today I thought I'd bring you guys a little different video here showing you the best settings I'm currently using in my NVIDIA control panel for um, 2020. But um, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys leave a sub, comment, subscribe, like, and all that stuff. I appreciate every single one of you guys. Um, and I appreciate all the new subscribers I've been getting too. You guys are the best. Uh, but anyways, let's just get straight into the video. So what you're going to do is you're going to right click on control panel. Or you're going to right click the your desktop. And you're going to see NVIDIA control panel right here. You're going to click on that. And you're just going to wait for this to load in. So after that, it's going to be on this. It's going to say adjust image settings with preview. So it's probably going to be on let the 3D application decide. But you're going to want to switch that over to use my preference infant sizing. Um, it's going to be on quality. Or it's probably going to be in the middle like this. But move it over to performance. And then press apply at the bottom of the screen. And then it's going to switch over to this... Um, which it should it should be fine you should just let it do that and it should be fine so at the you're just going to press apply then these are the settings i already have right here um you're just going to you guys are just going to copy them and i'll um, go through them with with you guys right now so image sharpening um i don't really prefer it that much it's just to like make this make the image look better and like more detailed i don't really like it that much it it kind of like throws me off while main game so i usually keep it off um image sharpening but if you want to keep it on, I would prefer you guys to turn it on use these settings right here um, so that you you don't lose any frames or anything like that. Or you don't um, it doesn't decrease your performance. But usually I keep that off um, ambient occlusion. You want to switch over to performance. It's probably going to be on quality uh, anastrophic filtering. You're going to keep that off any analyzing FX AA going to keep that off and t analyzing gamma correction you want to keep that on and t aliasing mode you're going to keep that off and then these two settings right here the setting and the transparency for anti aliasing they're going to be um they're probably not going to be highlighted like these are so you're just going to not touch those and then you're going to have cuda gpus you're going to keep that um to all dsr factors you're going to keep that to off low latency mode this um so la low latency mode it kind of depends on your the gpu you're currently using right now because um i know if you're using like a higher end gpu you're going to be fine at setting this to ultra and stuff like that but if you kind of if you use a lower end gpu let's say like you use a 1660 or like a, a 950 or something like that um you're going to want to just switch that to on i would switch it to on if i were you guys just so it doesn't decrease your performance or anything like that you can switch it to ultra but just keep in mind it might decrease your fps in game um but it's it's i guess it's supposed to be proven that it's supposed to um decrease your your input lag by 40 percent which i i have noticed it has helped my um input lag drastically so i usually keep it to on i have a 2060 super um i could switch it to ultra but i don't choose to i'd rather just keep it on but that's really up to you guys right here so um if you want i would i would prefer you guys to choose on but max frame rate we're going to keep that off multi-frame sampled you're going to keep that off open gl rendering gpu you're going to keep that you're going to put that to the gpu you're currently using the current gpu or graphics card you currently have per uh power management mode you're going to switch that to prefer maximum performance preferred refresh rate you're going to put that to highest available your shader cache you're going to switch that to on your texture filtering is going to be on anastrophic sample you're going to switch that to on texture filtering negative lod bios that's going to be on allow texture filtering quality is going to be on high performance um texture filtering trilinear optimization switch it to on threaded optimization you know put it to auto triple buffering you're going to keep that off vertical sync you don't want it off virtual reality pre-rendered frames one virtual reality variable rate super sampling you're going to keep uh put that to off so these are the settings you sh guys should be using and you should be on global settings don't be on program settings make sure you're on global so after that we're going to go to configure sound i'm going to press no on that because i already have my settings applied so make sure um, right here where it says physics um settings you're going to make sure your processor says your gpu um after that you just want to press apply if it shows up at the bottom of the screen <clears throat> then you're going to go to change resolution make sure you're um it make sure you're on pc like i am make sure you're on pc not on one of these make sure you're on pc and then you're going to want to set it to your highest uh, resolution you can and then you're going to make sure your refresh rate is on the highest result i mean your highest refresh rate that you can use the highest refresh rate i can use is 144 
That's why I'm currently using 144 right now. Then there's going to be NVIDIA color settings. You're going to make sure this is all set to where it's supposed to be, like how mine's is. Make sure all this is correct, and then you're going to want to press apply at the bottom of the screen. Um, right here in use a video settings, you're going to make sure all these settings are just like mine right here. Digital vibrance. This is kind of up to you guys. Um, this just makes it the colors more pop, gives them more, um, more of a, a saturated color feeling, and it looks actually nice. And then you got rotate display. This is for more if you have like a if you have um like two or three monitors and like let's say one monitor is portrait or anything like that you can flip it however you feel like and you can choose it right here um hccp you don't really need to worry about this unless like um yeah i you don't really need to worry about this especially for gaming or anything like that don't worry about this part uh, let me see set up digital audio don't worry about this and just desktop size um so for this guys you're going to want to put it to your highest resolution again at the bottom of the screen right here and put it to your highest refresh rate um right here you're going to want to put your put it on full screen so let's say like you're playing fortnite or something like that and then like you want to have it on a stretch resolution stretched resolution then you want to put this to full screen so you don't get those black bars on the side of the screen so this is for set up multiple displays so basically this is for if you have again if you have two or three monitors and let's say um you're trying to rearrange them in a certain way that's what all that's for and everything like that and you gotta adjust video color settings this is probably going to be on with the video player settings but you're going to want to switch that over to with the nvidia settings and you're going to go to dynamic range in advance and you're going to switch that to full because it's probably going to be on limited but you're going to switch it to full and then make sure everything is copied just like mine's is after that you're going to go to adjust video image settings and you're just going to make sure everything is copied just like how mine's is right here and you guys should be fine and make sure you guys press apply at the bottom of the screen for all this or else it won't work um but after that if i were you guys i would reboot my computer just to make sure everything applied successfully and yeah you should have better frames overall after that um, but if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys leave a like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate all the new subscribers I've been getting lately. Um, we're almost at 2K. I know it's been a while, but like we're going to get 2K like soon, soon. But um, if you guys are new, make sure you guys subscribe, like, comment. Uh, comment what else you guys want to see on this channel. And I'll see you all later. Peace.